off the tape for this heavyweight fight. Four years, the difference in age between these two fighters, with big differences in height and reach. All right, now to get us started, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Mario Yamasaki. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas. It is... This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet six inches tall, weighing in at 206 pounds, fighting out of split Croatia. Who do? And now with the defeat of fighting out of the red corner. This man is a grappler, holding a professional record of 27 wins, no losses. He stands five feet ten inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of the Republic of Pakistan, Russia, Habib the Eagle, Ivan Armada! All right, I gave instructions to you guys in the locker room. I want you guys to follow my orders at all times. Defend yourself at all times. Touch gloves. Good luck. They touch him up, and we are underway. Go first round, you ready? You ready? First round go. one. He is undefeated. He is one of the best pound for pound fighters in the world. And what a pain in the neck he is to fight. Habib Nurmagomedov figures to go to the takedowns early and often here tonight. But if he needs to strike, we have seen a constant evolution when it comes to his striking. This is one of the best fighters in any division. And Habib Nurmagomedov back at it tonight. See here. One thing to keep an eye out for is the wrestling and takedown ability of Habib Nurmagomedov. Finds a home for the left hand there. Big body punch. Elbow lands for him. Effective punch there by Nurmagomedov. He's doing a great job of moving and transitioning here on the ground. It looks like he may be attempting a submission here. Turns the hips. He's going to sit back. He popped out of the armbar. Well, you got to stay busy on the bottom. He's doing it here. Nice punch. He gets his back. And he's going to try to take the back. Nice punch there. Pine and Mago Metal. Excellent movement on the ground here. Constantly moving, constantly staying busy. He's going for the north-south position. Excellent movement here on the ground. Back to the stand-up now. Both fighters upright. Nurmago Medov's got double underhooks. Nice hammer fist. Pretty good elbow there to the body by Nurmago Medov. Attempt now looks as though he's got the neck. It looks like he's got the guillotine locked in tight. This choke is getting and there it is. He got choked, didn't tap in time, and went out. Yeah, Joe, I'm not sure if I'm most impressed with the setup or ultimately the technique to finish off the choke there, but his opponent showing off his patented toughness wasn't willing to tap. So ultimately, he goes to sleep. A huge result that we are just digesting here tonight. And here's the end. And so let's look at it again from another angle. He doesn't even get a chance to tap. And it's over before he even gets a chance to tap.
So there he is, your winner by submission tonight, and that is how you put the rest of the division on notice. A huge result for him here tonight. Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Mario Yamasaki is called to stop in this contest at two minutes, six seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by submission due to a guillotine jump. Well, what a submission win for this oncoming force here tonight. I think he's going to be a problem for a lot of fighters in this division. Tonight, though, is all about the celebration after getting the finish that he so sought. Coming in here tonight, you see how happy his coaches are, his training partners. This is going to be a fun night for this team and one that they have richly deserved.